Designers, come with me. Let me show you how to make this really cool effect. The original way of making a star was to hit L on your keyboard. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna increase the stroke. Hit go into appearance on the bottom left, hit the FX tool. And from there, it is the pucker tool in distort and transform. From here, you can change how much you want to pucker your circle to get it more of like, you know, those prongs and those pointy things that a star normally has. But the issue is that you can't get more prongs if you want to create it into a star. You want to get like, you know, five sides or six sides. You can also bloat it to get like this thing, but it looks cool and it's nice. But that is the old and traditional way. I'm going to show you the new way. Thanks to Adobe, my boy has created the star tool. From here, essentially, you can just create your star. Hit shift to make it more symmetrical you can also hit control to like change how long you want your stars prongs or that pointy parts to be now with stars you can create less points or you can add more points i want seven points so we're gonna add seven points you can also change how much you want to add the curves so it looks really cool and nice you can also remove how much pointiness there is it looks so cool and clean look at that look how beautiful my star is and you can create as many stars and little stars as you want